uh, it is my great honor to present our work, uh, Health Keep Depression Rate predict, uh, Prediction Using Health Related Features uh, in Satellite and Streetview Features. And this is joint work uh, with Xinjiang, Zhen Yuhan, and Yu Shang, and Professor Yun Li. And as a beginning, I would like to introduce the background of our work. So the main problem we want to solve in this paper uh, is how to predict mental health status, uh, especially depression rate, uh, using satellite and street view features uh, in urban set environmental settings. And depression stands out as one of the most widespread and incapacitating mental conditions globally. And the escalating prevalence of depression has emerged uh, as a profound and pressing concern, posing significant challenges to public health and well-being. Uh, depression affects over 18 million people in the United States each year, and which is uh, approximately 1 out of 10, and affects over uh, 300 million people worldwide, uh, regardless of age, gender, race, religion, or even socioeconomic levels. And it also contributes to over 41,000 suicides each year, which is a sca staggering amount uh, that even surpasses homicide. So therefore, how to accurately predict depression and identify the environmental factors that contribute to depression has become crucial problems in mental health research. And this research will be beneficial in various ways, uh, such as uh, resource allocation, uh, early intervention, and public health planning. Uh, so now we understand the importance of depression, but how can we make a reasonable prediction of it uh, with satellite and street images? So the sophisticated nature of this mental health issue brings great difficulties to its analysis and prediction. In previous work, lots of machine learning methods such as Renault Forest and rest 50 has been used uh, to review the occurrence of mental illness and as the striving of large language models, text data such as media comments or medical records have also been applied to the prediction of depression. So now I would like to introduce some related works of mental health prediction. So this is a paper published on PINUS, uh, which used street view images to predict various indicators and including mental health. In this work, the author used ResNet 18 dilated with PPM disub model to segment street view images, and then count the segmented mask per pixel percentage in each image. Uh, for example, the rows take about 25% of the Im image, and plant take like 3.2%, uh, uh, and the facade uh, takes about 12% of the image. And in the last step, they train a lasso model to predict the R square value of the health indicators. So this kind of convolutional neural network uh, plus regression paradigm on satellite and street view images has been very su successful in recent years, uh, mainly because of the accessibility of satellite and street view images. And this is very simple to use API to download whatever images you want. And the integration of machine learning methods, uh, visual features can be easily extracted. However, there are also some cons of this kind of work. So it is very hard to extract uh, health-related features uh, in images. And uh, Street View has fails to provide global understanding for it is only a single point on the whole region. And satellite lacks of detailed features for like one satellite image cannot represent the whole features in the whole region. And also as the emergence of LAM, text has also been used to predict mental health. And this is a case study of mixed range example on four level depression uh, prediction on depth severity data set. And you just simply use prompt to ask LOM to provide a prediction of this answer and they just answer it. So this kind of work uh, can, uh, the, the process that it can analyze huge amount of data due to the transformer architecture. But the, uh, and it can also provide some good explainability. Uh, but the cons it is cannot include visual features for it is a tech only LOM, and the data are not that accessible when it comes to the clinical data such as uh, medical records or like medical imaging kind of something. So that's why we use a clip model, which is contrastive uh, language image pre-training, and clip uh, is a neural network trained on a variety of image text uh, pairs. And it can be instructed in natural language to predict the most relevant text snippet uh, with a given name. 
So the clipping zero shot can match the performance of ResNet 50, uh, ResNet 50 uh, on the original uh, ImageNet data set without uni, uh, using any of the original examples. And here comes our main framework. Uh, so this is a two-step framework, and it, which requires a two-step training. So in step one, uh, satellite images and street view images were fed into GPT-4 Vision to generate health-related captions. Then two clip models were fine-tuned separately using the image text pairs generated above. So in step two, the feature embeddings come from the image encoders were integrated using a single layer MLP, uh, multi-layer MLP to predict depression rate. Uh, and the first part, uh, as a, okay, the, uh, the rest of the code was missing. Okay, so props can largely determine the quality of the uh, generated text. Uh, so our prompt pushes GPT-4 vision to capture features like green space, land use status, any environmental cues that may impact mental health in satellite or street view images. And we, uh, we adopt different prompts for I just got this part. Okay, here it goes. So the rest of the, uh, is the stage we are in right now. And uh, we got different prompts for satellite and street view images. For satellite, it always contains some high level features, but image, uh, street view image only has some like local features. And so here comes the main part of the training. And uh, the most important thing is the training loss. So this is a contrastive loss that was about, uh, adopted. And uh, this loss uh, access is input and Y is the, uh, is the label. So if the samples are similar, which means uh, this caption matches the image, uh, they are pair, and Y equals one. And the equation on the right side of the plus sign becomes zero. So it minimizes the loss and it pushes the captions and images together. So if the samples are dissimilar, uh, which means y equals zero, and there's a loss uh, added to this uh, whole, uh, whole thing, and uh, it just pushes the images and tags away. So after uh, uh, successful training, uh, the captions and the images should look like this. Uh, so the feature extracted from the encoder is more connected to the health-related taxes uh, generated by GT4 Vision. So as you can see, there's a very large, uh, so the diagonal part is a, has a very large value, and which means uh, the first caption matches the first image, and the second caption matches the second image, and so on. Uh, so uh, here comes the last step uh, between uh, MLP. So we first fit uh, output embeddings of the image encoders, uh, image decoders, to single layer MLPs, and separately, uh, satellite and street view. And then we concatenate the output of the MLPs as an uh, input of a uh, multi-layer MLP. So this kind of uh, mechanism uh, provides more flexibility for the MLP training. So for the data set, uh, we use satellite and street room images of uh, 1600 sensor tracks in New York City and the corresponding depression rate serving as ground truth labels. And then we evaluate the R squared value of the depression rate so we choose, chose four baselines, uh, remote clip, urban to vac, and sim parse. And uh, you can see that the satellite, for the satellite part, it got the best performance on open clip ResNet 15, uh, 50 as an image encoder, and well, street, Im uh, street view images reaches peak which, with VITB32. Uh, and uh, for the best performance overall, we have the combination of satellite and street view images, uh, which reaches R square of 0 0.56. And here's a case study of how uh, how the how it is look like. And for the satellite 
uh, images of the slow depression rate area, we can see there are a lot of sports views, sidewalks, and grass, trees, gardens over there. These are all positive signs for health. So that's why it has a very low depression rate. And for the image, the street view image down below, it has features like trash bags, uh, limited green space, wear and tier buildings, and which is a very high, uh, very negative health signs. So that leads to a very high depression rate. So for conclusion, we get three contributions. So first, we extract the health-related features from satellite and street view images. And we also brought a, a normal multimodal LM approach to predict uh, depression rate. And our performance exceeds all baselines compared. And thanks for listening.